Oh, sorry. Uh, good evening, uh, Charlie. Thank you for being here. My name's Tyler. And, um, you know, a big thing about our, your tour tonight was exposing critical racism. And, you know, by law, there's no separate laws for people of different races. We're all created equal under, yes. in the name of God. But I would ask you, do you believe there is any evidence of systemic racism in this country? Absolutely not, no. There's no evidence of systemic racism, meaning that there's no laws that are written with the intent or even the conclusion to harm certain di different communities based on the color of their skin. That was not the case back in the 1960s. But let me say, actually, I will say that I could make an argument that affirmative action actually has an anti-white, anti-Asian intent. But I don't think that was, maybe that was your question, maybe it wasn't. But yeah, that's usually not where people go with that. I'm happy to explain that at a different time. But look, the, here's where they always go to. Just because there's disparities, does not mean there's discrimination. Disparate outcomes can be blamed on a lot of different things other than racial discrimination. If you guys want to go on a scholarly journey, please go read Thomas Sowell's book, Discrimination and Disparities. But here's the, here's the reality of it. If you get married before you have kids, you get a job, any job, and you graduate from high school and don't commit crimes and you're not totally reckless with money, regardless of skin color, you can succeed in this country. We've done a pretty good job of preserving and maintaining that. A black child that is raised with a mother and father in the home is far more likely to succeed based on all independent metrics than a white child that's raised by a single mother. Not attacking single mothers, it's just an added pressure, it's harder, it's objectively true. And so the question is, why are we not having a concerted campaign to put black fathers back in the home where 77 percent of children, black children in America in certain cities and 70 percent nationwide are being raised without a stable father in the home? It's a, that is the core issue, strong families, and BLM Incorporated has done the opposite. They came out and they said that we exist to disrupt and destroy the Western prescribed nuclear family. And so, no, I don't believe in systemic racism and nor should you. Thank you.